Hi boys and girls, for today's lesson we're going to be learning about the three properties of addition. Before we get started, we want to do a little bit of review because you're going to see some vocabulary in this lesson that you may not have seen in a while, so I want to make sure that you understand what those words mean. So the first thing that we're going to review is that when you are doing an addition sentence, the numbers that you are adding together are called the add-ins. Can you say that word? Add-ins. The numbers you are adding together are called the add-ins. The number that you get when you put those add-ins together is called the sum. Can you say that, boys and girls? The sum. So these are the add-ins and this is the sum. And you always want to keep the equation balanced. I like to tell my kids that the equal sign is kind of like a seesaw. And how many of you have ever ridden a seesaw? If you are balanced, then you have the same weight on each side of the seesaw. If you are not balanced, the seesaw goes like this, or it goes like this, depending on which side is heavier. When you are doing addition or subtraction, you always want to keep the equation balanced. So on this side, 6 plus 2 equals 8. And on this side, we have the number 8. So this equation is balanced. Okay, and that's what the equal sign means. So the first addition property that we're going to talk about today is the commutative property. Now properties are kind of just like rules for adding numbers. And so these are the rules for adding numbers. So the commutative property, I like to draw a little card just to remind us what the commutative property means, what the word commute means. You may have heard your parents say, I have to commute to San Diego for work, or I have to commute to Orange County for work. So that means that they go back and forth between home and somewhere far away to work. Right now, nobody's really commuting to work, but I like to use a little car to remind us that commutative means to move around, okay? So the commutative property of addition just says that you can add numbers in any order and the sum will be the same so you can move them around. So six plus three equals nine, we all know that, but three plus six also equals nine, okay? And here we have a balanced equation with the equal sign in the middle, so we have on this side four plus 12 equals 16, and on this side 12 plus four equals 16. So we have the same numbers on each side, they just have moved around. We can even do this with big numbers. So 100 plus 60 equals 160, and 60 plus 100 equals 160. So all I did was move those numbers around, okay? The next property that we wanna talk about is the associative property. And I drew a group of friends here just to help you remember what the associative property means. So when you guys are at school and you go out on the playground, sometimes you play with different friends, you associate or group yourself with different friends, right? Today you might play with one friend and tomorrow you might play with another friend. So today this girl might play with this boy and then tomorrow these boys might play together. So they are grouping each other, grouping differently, but it's still the same friends, right? So we still have the same numbers no matter how we group them together. So it says the associative property, you can group add-ins in any way you want and the sum will be the same. So here I have 3 plus 4 plus 5, and here I have 3 plus 4 plus 5. The only difference in these two sides of the equation is that I've used these little parentheses. And when you have parentheses, it just means that you're grouping those numbers together and you're going to add them first, okay? So here I would add 3 plus 4 first, and I would get 7, and then I'm going to add 7 plus 5, and, then, and that would equal 12, right? But on this side, I'm grouping four plus five together. So I'm gonna add four plus five, and that equals nine. And then I'm gonna add three, and it still equals 12. So it doesn't matter how you group the numbers, you still have the same numbers on each side, okay? And the last property is pretty easy, and you guys probably already knew this one. It just says, the identity property says, the sum of zero in any number is still that same number. So. If I add zero to five, I still have five, okay? And if I even take a big number like 256 and I add zero, I still have 256. So that just says that adding zero to a number doesn't change the number, you're still gonna have the same number. And on each side of the equation, I am balanced like a seesaw, remember, because I have 256 over here and 256 over here. 
All right, boys and girls, those are the three addition properties that are kind of like the rules of addition that we need to remember for this lesson today. Thank you for being a great listener.